If you are a young yeshiva student and first going into the dating parsha, I'd like to share with you a piece of advice. Don't take a Beshakov girl on a first date to a restaurant. Don't take her. First of all, she probably won't go. And if she does, she'll be very, very uncomfortable. After all, she's going to be thinking to herself, how do I eat the spaghetti? Am I going to slurp it? Am I going to crunch on the lettuce? She's going to be very, very uncomfortable. Don't even offer her. Here's an important observation to think about. Imagine that you're dealing with a young woman, 19 years of age, and imagine that she's been eating solid three meals a day since the time she's, say, three years of age. For 16 years, she's been eating meals. The average person will eat three meals a day, 300 odd days a year, about 1,000 meals a day. She's eaten 16,000 meals in her life. Why is it that up until this point she wasn't worried about slurping the spaghetti and crunching the lettuce? How is it that she never had this problem, but now all of a sudden, oh my goodness, I forgot how to eat? The answer is, it's very different. Because here, I'm on show. Someone there, maybe my bashert, is watching me, and I act very differently. I'm very uncomfortable in that setting. This understanding that Hashem is present, that Hashem is watching, Hashem is there, has to be a part of our lives. It would affect our thinking, it would affect our way of doing things in a tremendous, tremendous manner. The problem is we forget, we're spaced out, we're unaware. But stopping the busyness every once in a while and just thinking this one core cognition, Hashem is present, can have a tremendous impact on the way I do things, the way I think, the way I live my life.